Mm, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire at All. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And, this, and in this episode we're chasing away um, these two Russian armies. And we've got a bunch of support, but I don't really want to use them. Um, and we're using this force here, which looks like it's got a bugged unit of light infantry, which is pretty neat. Um, but they got a lot of artillery, lots of their infantry is quite depleted, especially this reinforcing army that's coming in. Um, shouldn't be too much to worry about. Let us push in and destroy them. So I need to, <laughs> I need to have a good look around. It's been a while since I've recorded uh, recorded my sword. One thing I definitely remember I need to do is destroy the Russian army that's landed in Norway. That is something that needs to be done. Uh, right. Let's not count our chickens and so on. Let's first win the day here before we start looking around. We've got a number of areas that we can squeeze the Russians. Especially all those troops we've got pushing up through the Caucasus to help land an attack near the rear. Okay. Let's drop my guns on this kind of high ground. Group together all the 375 infantry, including the light infantry. My light mercenaries and my Amazons on the right. Oh no, sorry. African infantry guards first. Then the mercenaries. Kahi and Skirmish Cab on one flank. Camels and Lancers on another. Send the Felaine up behind the line. And we do need to push up quite hard. Because the enemy has a decent selection of artillery pieces, including, how, including mortars, so I don't want to expose myself to them any longer than I absolutely have to. So these two units can run up. Reinforcements are coming in on the left. Push my fellow Ian up there. Get my artillery just to focus on bombarding their infantry block. So not really well this this just this lump. Well here comes the Tsar Guards, the other reinforcing unit. Okay, their rockets are firing. But yeah, my artillery, I just want them just to fire into the mass. These guys might be coming to help support the Reinforcements. Very well. Send my skirmish cavalry in. Send my sepahi towards the action. Okay, now they're quick climbing. That's not a few holes in my Israeli line. begin. We killed an enemy general, I believe that's the gun on the reinforcements coming in. There we go. So then this infantry on the left. Still need to advance quite a lot. Okay, 
Okay, here come the melee infantry. Pull the mercenaries back, pull the cavalry back. Push up the Israeli. Pull my cavalry back, pull my pikemen back, pull my native lance back. Nope, they were wavering for a second. Artillery is slamming home. doing a good job. Push up my Faleen. It looks like they might want to melee charges. So we're counting on their morale letting them down. Because they'll cut through us quite rapidly. Shaking, wavering. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. That unit's gonna going to going to uh, wear them down. They'll get them. Yeah, it's just at, at a cost. Now the glorious push up to the hill. Militia are breaking. I mean, you guys need to be... Okay, let's take the... Skirmish cow, get them back to the main fight. Skirmish is up on the hill. Going down. Siberian hunters. Push up and take the position. Infantry. Cease fire the artillery. Take a selection of men, push up and form a defensive line here. Kill as many as you can. Pull my Palahin back. I should know they better stay stuck in. The enemy force here is pretty knackered. So let's just speed up time. So all we're doing is chasing. Chasing. <laughs> Mounting men and fighting over here. Having 
more reinforcements. Yeah, we can be, they can be shot up by this already. That's right, new men. We've actually won a PCU. Kind of charging the other way. There we go, and they all broke, including these ones here. Achoo. Okay, well, I'm not going to chase down everyone. Well, that's a good win. Didn't need to call any. Call any help, but that means all our troops are in good condition. You're not within range of this, but that's just lots of the leftovers. Right. So you guys are all effectively recruiting after that last Poland defence. New men are all going to set up and ready for the defensive battle. Drop down here to sort out a bat. Let's not go mad. Actually, let's, set, let's also set up. Siege Stockholm. New men push up. Act as blocking forces against whatever comes down from the north. It works for me. Then we've got these fellas over here. David Korolyov. Okay, you men. Gonna march to the enemy. Lots of cavalry, which is bad for them, because we've got a good amount of melee infantry. Which means that their well their cavalry is gonna get chopped up quite quickly. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kill them then chase down and kill as many as we can and then maybe recruit some militia in Norway just to make sure they can't run around us in that sense it might be smart to le let them keep some of their artillery so it slows them down ooh interesting So my gunners, boy, make ready. Let's create a Hindu brigade. Let's create a Kizu Bashi Musketeer brigade. Kizu Bashi, get the dervishes. The Hindu warriors follow the Hindu musketeers. Cavalry support for the right flank gets the general and the elephants. Maybe take the hit the dervishes out of that group. to the trees. Really want my artillery working on their cavalry. We can spat unit in inside. Bayonet charge them, bring in the dervishes. Everyone else continue the push. They're breaking out. Where? Indie warriors, get in. 
you men hit the Cossacks. They've taken down some of my Sapahi. The Hindus have fought the square. Now it's up to the sword wielding Hindu warriors to intercept any roaming devils. May bring my Sapahi inside. Once the dervishes have chopped down this for Bjorni Streltsy. Go to work on the Cossacks. Get the Kizilbashi. The Hindu on the right. Get his cavalry back. Oh, these are grenades. These are um, hand mortars. I don't want them. Push. Hold square. And mortars. Engage them, get my gunners, they're now starting to hurt my positions. So let's get them all to focus on this unit of Marines. So my Bashi can push around. And your warriors came back, form square. Most grenade guards are in. Okay, you guys can now fire at will. You're one of the lads. You're in the line. And go for those Ural Cossacks. Push them, push these guys up to flank the Marines. Form square again. Newman get out of square. This battle over here, it's the unit of Marines that are holding the line now. This is where my dervishes and my Hindu warriors. I'm hoping we'll even things up a bit. They are winning slightly, but can they win hard enough? The Vibjorni Streltsy are winning against my light, against my uh, Zimandari cavalry. I'm hoping the Sipahi will come in and even the score somewhat. Charge the hand mortar company. These routing Hindu warriors push up and form the line again. Those marines are broken. That's a bit scary that they've routed that way. Pull my cavalry back. Should get my Sapahi over here. Just want to make sure the Marines die. Where's my Kizzle Bash? Oh, Zamandari horsemen. Go for the horse grenadier guards, crew. And there they go, the Marines.
Dervishes flank the irregulars. Hindu warriors flank the warband. This isn't what you were expecting at all. slaughter you get the marine there's only one guy left in that marine unit oh there we go so they chased my sapahi away i suspected they would come back well, they make sure they chased down the line infantry All my infantry that's not dead chase down units that are alive. They're not going to be alive for very long, surely. Uh, oh, even better, my Sapahi that didn't, didn't rout. So you men cease fire. She took a hammering. But they did not bolt out. Damn right, continue. We got some men to kill. Most of these units can just get out of the way. Good, we commit. I want to make sure you guys get the Marines, although we have artillery firing at you, so you want to make sure you do that quick, quick. You're doing what you can against our line infantry. Tillery C5, probably killed too many of their own men. We may yet get their marines. Yes, we did. Good. Nice, nice, nice. They're almost completely dead. So if I take everyone except for my artillery, I can chase up to them and kill the rest. Excellent work. So you men are punished, get back to Norway, and my guns begin going back to Norway themselves. So scavenger, let's get a madrasa, Bergen, let's get a trading port. Good. So then this navy can leave Malmo. I know you're already up there. Good. The U-men sail to towards St. Petersburg. One of the Jebeks can sit in Malmo. So they do have ships, but nothing that they'll really want to oppose us with. So we're going to sit right here. And they're not, and to make it much more, it takes longer for them to reinforce uh, the northern flank. So, Peter Lacey, you're going to be all they have soon. Send my spy up to see if there's anyone else lurking about. Yeah. Try and take out Peter Semyonovich Doltikov. So you're still holding. 
that's fine for now. We want to knock out these guys there, don't we? Who, what have you got? A lot of artillery, a lot of cavalry. So you're going to stay here, just to prevent them from routing this way. You're going to stay where you are, because we may, we may draw one of these guys out. Actually, let's maybe move you guys here. So you're within range of each other. Let's then take... Let's take Sophia. Got some Russian swine trying to defend it. We're going to take it, and that will be yet another uh, step on the road to victory. Then we can maybe send some of these guys... Well, they'll actually, no, they'll all go northeast. We're recruiting an army in Ankara to land at Crimea. It caused problems there for Mother Russia. Continuing to squeeze, and ultimately, with the death of Russia, that will soon, that will probably be the, this is the last great power. Oh, can I get, yes, I can. No, I can't. I can get here, though. Excellent field of fire. So this one is tricky because we've got town. We are going to push through the town. But we're going to do it with a measure of portion. Because, yeah, otherwise they're just going to bombard us. And my Fellain are going to take up... Not my Fellain Musketeers, my Fellain Warriors. They're going to take up most of my... Make up most of my strength. I'm making my fellow in musketeer down on the flank. There's no point engaging there. No point engaging there. Oh, okay, right. Run. All my line. Run, run, run. My artillery. Focus on their cavalry. For example, you guys push into here. Fellain support, you guys. Push one of the flanks, you guys. Like they don't really want to defend the town, and we may end up just be running into a. Ooh, this is actually quite good. Because we'll actually get up here and begin engaging their gun line. So really, occupy the farmhouse. Bellaine, hold the line. And you guys will go to fill in the gap. My fellow musketeers may end up just being fodder for the centre. They're never going to get out onto the flank satisfactorily. Newman form here. Taking a lot of losses. 
you guys are in I'll push you guys up a little bit more because they appear to want to surrender this flank to us yeah that yeah, it's already you know, routed which is not unsurprising So form square, pull my Kizobashi back through the square. Keep my cavalry on the move. Probably it's better just to push the line. That's the general back here. How does it feel, sucker? Can my guys get pushed away from a gun team? By a gun team. Got the enemy general. Let's take a little storm in. The enemy general is very upset. It's a really formed square because Obashi can't do anything. Push in, push in, all of you. And go after them. Short and sharp, but effective. I think we probably need to surround the garrison line here, actually. The new men both jump onto these irregulars. The reinforcements are coming in from the left. Heavy elephants, go get them. Form square. Oh, there's one unit of reinforcements coming in. Sepahi, so, go for for the guns. Whew, that was messy. Real messy. Okay, let's take one line or some troops. Form a line. Mercenaries, artillery, warband. If you can get in before those musketeers show up, that would be ideal. Hey, that infantry unit came back. Musketeers are going to get a workout. Oh, 
If they can go for the warband. They can make them route and then they'll book it. Eighty seventy-seven. Smash into the regiment of foot. Pushed away the irregulars. Artillery cease fire. The really form up. Out of range of these guys. Form up my Fellaheen line. And then everyone else. Not optimally placed, but I'm not worried about um, efficiency at the minute. these guys out. Skirmishers can take the position, hold the position for now. Everyone else is dead. You get the last two members of the rocket troop. There we go. Warband to come the Dragoons. Go on, militiamen. Excellent. Who do you want, Dragoons? You got Feline right here. Oh, you want the militia? Or the Fellaini Mus Musketeers? Very well. My melee troops will make short work of you. Better off charging these warbands and new men charge the dragoons. The new men push in to try and engage this militia unit to the rear. As these dragoons they're being chopped down quick and fast. There we go. My dragoons are winning for now until the tide turns on the battlefield. Oh, the militia unit has been surrounded. With great loss of life. There we go, and the dragoons have been got as well. Yeah, you better run. Good victory, though. A lot of losses on our side, but a good victory nonetheless. You're dead. You're pushed back. And Bulgaria is ours. So now you 
Okay, right. What we can do is then take some of these territories. Push you guys north of the river. Let's start knocking down some of these seminaries. My agent can get to work trying to assassinate priests. Let's try and assassinate the one that's really good. One in four chance. One, yeah, one in four chance. Nope. Spotted. Uh, what about you guys in Belgrade? Yep, you can leave. That's great. So then you guys can push to the north of the river as well. And then you guys move east. Threaten the remaining troops at w in west in, in Istanbul. These guys here are not finished recruiting, but they've got six slots and they're recruiting five guys. One more unit of Felahin. You've all moved. I'm content with my yes, current plans. Konigsberg, you? Yeah, I was going to say, you better be building a garrison. Meanwhile, the conversion of these territories goes on. Paris is now majority Muslim. Brussels is uh, still not there. I think Paris might be my... Oh, I mean, Cologne's going to rebel at some point. Hanover's chilled out somewhat, but they're still unhappy. Uh, I think I'm going to hit end turn. Yeah, we're exchanging our priests, because one of our priests hates Europeans, so let's not keep him in Europe. Mm -hmm. They've still got plenty of recruitment capacity, Russia does, so they're not they're definitely not out. They've taken a few losses, but let's see how well they can recover them. Bit of coffee. Large numbers of troops, but we just keep smashing them back. Eventually, they're going to expose their weakness. And then their wall just collapse altogether. Oh, yes. Even better if they fall back to Finland. Ah, the Russian Navy. So as long as they don't destroy our the overall fleets, we can send them back for repairs. Yes, back you go. But we're probably going to lose some of our trade spots now, because they're going to get nicked. Yeah, those guys have run around us. Ooh. Interesting that the full, if the all of the reinforcements for the garrison of Istanbul have come out, so now we can kill them and put Istanbul in the siege and then push. Um, we're not supported, but ultimately they they are very very weak. So let's get on and fight. Then we can put Istanbul under siege, deplete them, resist them, and then move on. Because we've got enough troops that we can just siege a territory and then push forward and not worry too much about it. Like in some of my campaigns, I just don't have the men to keep them locked up for five turns sieging a major city. But in this case, particularly with something like Istanbul, now we own Bulgaria, just just, just uh, surround it and let them destroy themselves trying to break out, break out of the siege. And then this one is going to be form a gun line, form our infantry line, and just let them annihilate themselves trying to destroy our formation because they don't have the men. Okay. You got horse artillery, we got more artillery than you have, and we can afford to take losses as well. Yeah, all of their armies, all of their troops are just weak. Let's speed up time. If it's just going to be guns 
pounding on each other for a while, which I think it will be. Even even then, they ran near the near the gun, so my misses will be still useful. Shrapnel shot. Excellent shot, sir. Pushing in. You've lost a lot of men, so no one would blame you. Why are you, you made room for my tenants there? Pull my fellow in back. They may Ooh, I was gonna say they may shatter. Okay, all of my gunners need to focus on one battery. to attack one battery to start and match your... I want to say they want, they want to hit my my melee infantry. You're triggering a lot of musketry. Send my cavalry around to silence their guns. Because they are causing mischief. Need to glance and we're going to get a charge off. Oh, oh, they got a volley off at the last minute. In which case. Guns target their infantry. The dragoons are dismounted, that's awfully nice of them. They're placing stakes because they're concerned of my cavalry pushing around. There we go, they get it's time to deploy their cavalry. Some of the guns have limbered up. Set that force artillery unit. So I kill the last of the gun crews. You men go off for the 30th. This cavalry's had enough of living. Square, send in the melee infantry. Yeah, they're bringing in their reinforcements, but push into the Cossacks. Still some upset amongst the native lancers. They've still got one gun team active. But 
kill the enemy general. This unit's going to whip around and hit the last gun team. Actually, no, you know what? You guys can get out of here. goes them infantry push shrink the line Sharpshooters, they look lovely. Get all my guns to aim at the four Scrandier guards. Be honest, actually, if they're all shattered, which they are, you guys just recover. These are foot guards though, they're worth killing. Nice. You've placed your stakes the wrong way and most of them disappeared. Focus on the ground and guards all my artillery. They're the most dangerous unit on the field. Oh, excellent. Hit. Reload. Some more good hits. And there's only nine, eight of them left. You within? Ah, oh, you poor devils! Why would you sit there? You're in shrapnel range. Just. When you, when you miss, it doesn't matter. Just pull the corner of one. Back my cavalry, just so they didn't waste a bunch of time with their infantry trying to chase after us. These are elite line infantry. These are veterans. Boy, they are the first regiment. They've been around a while. Six light foot. Fourth light foot back there. Although they must not have had light infantry for a while if their sharpshooters are the fourth, unless they've lost a bunch <laughs> and then recruited the sharpshooters. So then here. Yes. 
so much death and destruction. No recover, you men get involved. All of you, shrapnel, the light, the sharp. No, don't shrap the sharpshooters, they're, they're weak. Aim at the 106. The 106 are also weak, but everyone else can feasibly be taken out elsewhere. Halt the artillery fire. Gonna continue, need to be careful though, because they have placed some stakes down. You can go after the light infantry. Got them. So you guys come you guys go after the line infantry over here. Excellent. Oh, it's gonna be so many Russian units killed off. It's gonna be sublime. Gone. Close victory. It wasn't close. It was a good victory. So many dead. Back you go. Oh, that was that one of them was actually the garrison of Istanbul that pushed out. They've got two units sat there just waiting to jump on them. Oh, what fools. Yeah, Russia wants to take out Russia. Russia's the last bad, big bad to worry about. And then it's landing in the Americas and mopping up as per tradition for other campaigns. And Bavaria. Bavaria is going to have... They've got a large army, but they're all going to be very weak units individually. Because they're not going to have the cash to support them. Yeah, there we go. Greece is next. Next trade spot. If nothing else, I can combine my weak units together. Combine my weak units together to sit on one of the nodes and then send two trade fleets to replace both that new reconstituted fleet and the other fleet that took a bit of a bit of damage from the Russians, but have ultimately won. Rebellion in the Rhineland. I'm just going to auto that. That's just going to be rebels. Rebel scam. And attack them again. So, what I want to do is go to India. Trade fleet. Two to East Africa. You can mop up that last Russian scallywag. Oh, you guys can't combine. You've got two admirals. Okay, that'll work. Construction report. Keep on building. Loop. Large madrasa. You want to keep. Nope. Keep on building. Keep on going our economy. Even though we're not recruiting troops at full chat like we used to be. Definitely need more. We don't need more. I want more. I do like having a big, bustling economy. Especially when most of Europe is going to be paved over with madrasas, we're not going to get the as much money as we traditionally would owning the entire territory. I may be going overboard, but I don't want to have loads of troops sat back just garrisoning and doing all that kind of work. So you guys can mop up the these Georgian rebels that have been here since forever. 
और कोई आगे गेस्ट मिल और ये मैन होल्ड इट तैयार हो जाओ मिल और यू गाइस डिमांड द सरेंडर ऑफ ऑफ चकास्क because there's no one defending it upgrade the government's military government's barracks rebuild the settlement fortifications now let's send some guys eastward to head off the enemy another army is going to go north but a third army is going to go east because you you're going to go north excellent Rebellion. Oh, that's a, that was a new Georgian rebellion. I see. Lots of traits gained. Region captured. The Don. You guys are fully equipped. So get over to Sinop, and then you'll go over to Crimea. So you men push up. You're going to stay where you are because you guys. Be honest, you guys are going to actually going to end up attacking Istanbul because they're going to call lots of these guys in as reinforcements immediately off the bat. Um, but looking at the timer, I think that'd be a great time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Istanbul. Cheers, everyone.